Hello, welcome to Oracle DBA02 Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about logical storage structures. Okay, so we know what a database is. A database is a collection of data files residing on operating system. Okay, so here this blue database has ni like nine data files. You can group data files into table spaces. Okay, so it's a logical grouping. So a table space would consist of one or more data files. However, one data file can only go in one table space. It's like one to many relationship. Okay. Now you can further break down table space into segments. This is a logical subdivision. Okay. So having said that, if you break down table space into physical components, so that will be data files. But you can break down table space into logical components, that will be segments. Now, having said that, there is no one-to-one -one relationship between segments and data files. Okay, so one segment could wholly reside in one data file, or it could be split in among multiple data files. Okay, of course, there is a way to find that out, but uh, this is a different kind of division of table space. It's a logical division. So, what exactly is segment? So there is a one-to-one -one relationship between segment and logical database objects like tables and indexes. Okay, one ta one table. Uh, can c correspond to one segment. Similarly, one index would correspond to one segment. So there's like one-to-one -one, uh, mapping between logical database structures and logical storage structures. Okay, so this tutorial is about logical storage structures, table spaces, segments. They're logical storage structures. We will talk about logical database structures in coming tutorials. There will be tables, indexes, etc and they are more related to storing data okay right now we are talking about storage structures okay so now storage structures creates ground for storing data so now let's break segment uh, into uh, further granular components so segment can be broken down into extents so here segment 2 has been broken down further uh, if you if you magnify it you can see like it consists of extent one, extent two, and so on. Of course, it could be more than two extents. Okay, and if you magnify further, extents consist of blocks. Okay, and this is uh, the most uh, mag uh, magnification you can get is the blocks level. Okay, you can't uh, go beyond that. Of course, blocks consist of bytes, but as far as storage structure is concerned, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we have table spaces, we have segments, extents, and blocks. Now why uh, the storage structure consists of these components and why are all these components are significant? Okay? The reason is this logical subdivision allows Oracle to have more uh, control over disk space usage. Okay? So it's more efficient disk space and performance and all the attributes of Oracle are uh, uh, you know, driving from this uh, logical subdivision. Okay, so quick recap: we have physical uh, data files uh, sitting on operating unit, and they can be grouped uh, into table spaces. Table spaces can be broken down into segments with a logical subdivision, and segments can be broken down further into extents. And extents consist of blocks. All right. Uh, so that's the whole purpose of this tutorial was to. Uh, provide you uh, the logical uh, subdivision of the storage structure. All right. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.